Long ago, there was a peaceful kingdom that lacked an heir to the throne. King Nils and his queen Magdalena had waited for a long time, and at last she was expecting a child. She gave birth to the longed-for son, and they named him Ulrich. But suddenly, doctors crowded around the queen's bed. Magdalena succumbed to the labors of childbirth. The love of his life was gone. Weighed down by sorrow, King Nils approached his autumn. Meanwhile, Ulrich grew into a young boy full of life. The prince was the only thing that kept the darkness at bay in his heart. One day, Prince Ulrich fell ill. The doctors tried everything, but he grew weaker and weaker. They told King Niels about a mythical flower that witches were rumored to use to heal any illness. King Niels searched the whole kingdom for the flower to no avail, and his campaign soon became a gruesome witch hunt. His path was lined with the witches he had slain, but the flower was nowhere to be found. Exhausted, bloody, and at his wit's end, King Nils came to a witch's house on the outskirts of his kingdom. He fell to his knees, begging the witch to help cure his son, and she agreed. The witch explained that the flower held tremendous power that could only very carefully be used for good. The witch instructed he only use a single petal, using the whole bloom would only invite death. Ulrich began to recover, but discontent at the royal line had grown in the kingdom, following King Nils' bloody campaign. The next day, King Nils found his son dead and the last light holding his darkness at bay was snuffed out. Heartbroken, King Nils turned to the bloom which had promised life, and instead saw it as an escape from his suffering. The witch, having come to visit the king and the prince, looked at the nightmarish scene in despair. She raised a mountain on top of King Nils and shackled him using the same bramble that he let loose upon the kingdom. And to this day, the trolls still feed him as punishment for his evil deed. Mm.